Dan is absolutely necessary in rural Minnesota because nobody else goes there. <laughs> Fargo has some services, but the city is the best place to go, and nobody can afford to do that all the time when they just need, you know, a little help. And uh, Rand brings it out where people can actually get to it. I found out it was positive in uh, 87 in Minneapolis, and of course there was all sorts of services down there. When I moved to Bemidji, of course, it was the whole cycle of isolation and not knowing and nobody there at all for me. So um, I had heard of Rand and I called down and shortly afterwards um, and they got me started with all of my HIV needs in northern Minnesota. Today, thanks to Rand, of course, there's a lot more access for people all over the state of Minnesota to medical care and case managers and support groups and and just being able to have a community of people in the same ship, so to speak, that you are at, which is real hard to do in a rural area because of the distances that you go to get anything. So if Rand wasn't around, it would be very difficult for a lot of people to get any sort of um, access or knowledge about the disease. Um, you'd have to really be a outgoing, you know, help yourself type person to find all the stuff that you need to know. Not everybody can do that all the time. They need a little help to to know where to look for things and and um, and how to deal with the disease and um, where to find the doctors at. You know, you can go to clinic after clinic after clinic and they won't want to talk to you. You know, uh, with RAN that's changed, you know, so. Uh, but without it, it would be I hate to say hopeless, not necessarily hopeless, but you know, it'd be a lot more difficult for most people to, to survive in the rural areas. Or RAN has like um, six offices around the state so that anybody isn't too far from a case manager and usually they can get medical care fairly close to their hometown, not drive to the cities or Fargo or Chicago or wherever. <laughs> Uh, the worst thing is that people just don't think it's out there, especially when you get out to Bemidji and those rural areas. I've talked to many people that say, well, we don't have that problem here. That's Minneapolis or Africa or someplace else, you know. So, and I say, well, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> a few years ago, I did a display of the, um, the, the AIDS quilt in Bemidji at the university up there, a 20 panel display on that. And I was in charge of running it and I was there most all the time that it was on display. And um, there were a lot of local people that did come up to me and say things like, they didn't say, well, I can talk to you, I guess, but you know, they said they would confess things that, you know, my brother died of AIDS years ago. It was just awful. And uh, the quilt meant so much to me just to have it there. and. Um, and I don't know how many people I talked to during that display that there was somebody in their life that they knew that they normally don't talk about, but they were able to talk about to me. So I think the uh, biggest thing that uh, Rand does for me and for hopefully all the other people in the state of Minnesota living with HIV in the rural areas is that it gives them hope that, you know, they're not all alone, that there are people out here who care and there's easy access to what you need to have to survive with this disease. So.